hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to solve this interesting exponential equation and i will advise you to stick around because you have so much to learn from this solving okay so without wasting much time let's get started so in order to solve this exponential equation the first step is for us to divide all through by this term here okay so you're gonna have 4 power y divided by 4 power y plus 6 power y divided by 4 power y equals to 9 power y divided by 4 power y okay so this will cancel this so we're gonna have 1 plus we can rewrite this as 6 over 4 all power y equals to this we can write it in the form of 9 over 4 all power y okay so the next step is for us to concentrate on this all right so let's concentrate on that we have 6 over 4 all power y okay this can be written as 3 over 2 all power y okay because 2 can cancel here 3 times and 2 can cancel here 2 times all right so the next step is for us to concentrate on this all right so let's continue on this part of the board 9 over 4 all power y okay this can be written as 3 power 2 divided by 2 power 2 all power y okay and this can be written as 3 over 2 all power 2 all power y okay and if you multiply these two together you're gonna have that also can be written as 3 over 2 all power 2y okay if you multiply this then this can be written as 3 over 2 all power y all power 2 okay so this is what we are going to work with all right so the next step is for us to insert this into this equation so we're gonna have one plus okay so instead of six over four all power y we are going to write this so this will be three over two all power y equals two and instead of nine over four all power y we are going to write this so this will be three over two all power y and all power 2 okay so that being done the next step is for us to equate this to a particular constant so we can say let p equals to 3 over 2 all power y okay so let's continue on this part of the board here if we insert p instead of 3 over 2 all power y we are going to have 1 plus p equals to here we are going to have p squared okay so if we take the whole of this over to this part of the equation we are going to have p squared minus p minus 1 equals to 0 okay so this becomes a quadratic equation and we are going to solve this using the quadratic formula okay so we have p equals to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a okay and from this equation our a equals to 1 b equals to negative 1 and c equals to negative 1 okay so let's go ahead and insert this into this equation so we have p equals to here we have negative b so you're gonna have minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of here we have negative 1 squared minus okay here we have 4 times a times c which is negative 1 okay we have all divided by 2 times a that is 1 okay 
So let's continue on this part of the board. Here I have written down the condition that we use. Let P equals to 3 over 2 of power Y. Okay. So we're going to have P equals to negative, negative. So we're going to have 1 plus or minus square root of, okay. Negative 1 squared is 1. Here we have 4 times 1 times negative 1. And we have a negative sign here. So that will give us plus 4 divided by 2 okay so this will give us p equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2 okay so this will give us p equals to 1 plus root of 5 divided by 2 or 1 minus root of 5 divided by 2 okay but if you look at this this will give us a negative number and if you look at this condition here p is supposed to be a positive number okay not negative all right so that means we are not going to make use of this all right so this is clearly out of the line so we are making use of this alone all right so right now p equals to one plus root of five over two okay so let's continue on this part of the board here we have p equals to one plus root of five over 2 so that means 1 plus root of 5 over 2 equals 2 okay considering this condition 3 over 2 power y okay so in order for us to solve this we can rearrange this so if you rearrange this we're gonna have 3 over 2 power y equals 2 1 plus root of 5 over 2 okay so in order for us to solve this we are going to take the log of both sides so we're gonna have log of 3 over 2 power y equals to log of 1 plus root of 5 over 2 okay and the base here will be 3 over 2 and the base here will be 3 over 2 okay so this will cancel this okay and we are left with y equals to log of 1 plus root of 5 divided by 2 and the base here will be 3 over 2 okay so let's continue on this part of the board we are going to have y equals to log of 1 plus root of 5 divided by 2 and the base is 3 over 2 which can be written as if we use the law of logarithm y equals to log of 1 plus root of 5 divided by 2 divided by log of 3 over 2 okay and this can be written as y equals to log of 1 plus root of 5 minus log of 2 divided by log of 3 minus log of 2 okay and y equals to if you insert these values in your calculator you're gonna have log 1 plus root of 5 equals to 0 0.5100 in four decimal places minus log of 2 equals to 0 0.3010 divided by log of 3 equals to 0 0.4771 minus and log of 2 equals to 0 0.3010 okay so if you compute this in your calculator 0 0.5100 minus 0 0.3010 divided by 0 0.4771 minus 0 0.3010 your answer will be 1.1868 in four decimal places okay so we have come to the end of the class and i believe you enjoyed the class and you have learned a lot from the lesson so i would like you to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the notification icon for updates on my videos Thank you and goodbye.